Guys, Google went down while we're sleeping here in California around 3.30 in the morning. Let's discuss what really happened. So guys, at 3.47 a.m. in the morning, PST, almost all Google services went down, including Gmail, YouTube, Drive, Doc, Meet, Nest, Google Maps, like even Pokemon Go that uses Google Maps, any, any dependence downstream services that uses these stuff just went down. It took close to an hour to bring them back up. Uh, we have an idea of what caused the outage. Google Cloud actually tweeted something that is just uh, uh, weird, <laughs> let's say. In this, in this video, I'll try to make sense of what we have gathered so far. And then once we have an official, lengthy, detailed uh, response from Google, I'll make a detailed analysis video on that topic. Let's just jump into what we are, wherever we have. Uh, at 3, 3.47 in the morning, people start reporting that they could not sign in to their Google account. And they were getting this error message. Let's, let's flip to the... So people, when they start to try to sign into their Google account, to their Gmail, to their Google Doc, to their Google account, essentially, they were giving this beautiful error could not find your Google account, which is absolutely scary, right? Of course, I know my Gmail account exists. Did someone hack me? Did someone remove my account? Did Google just terminated my account? So the people start freaking out. This error message is just weird, right? So something upstream apparently failed to retrieve that account in order to authenticate, but the, the downstream services just bubbled up at a completely incorrect error. If you built any backend application through certain path, you would definitely have run into this problem and you have to fix it. Or you only know when it actually happens to you. So I'm not surprised when I saw that because I know this definitely happened. This is just an untested code path. So that's when you actually don't sign it. So you can't even sign it. So you can't view your docs. So you can't go to your meeting. So you can't do any of that. However, if you are already signed in and you have a cookie in your browser, guess what? Even that will not, obviously you're signed in. So the authentication aspect and the authorization aspect also fails with this beautiful error. That's an error. Service down. 503. We have no idea what happened. <laughs> okay. And, uh, that's essentially it. So that's what we know. And some, some of you guys reported that, yeah, I could not open YouTube when I am signed in. But if I open an incognito mode, I actually can open it. But I can't view the channel information. I could not view the comments. So it's not really related just to the authentication, it seems to be. Or related to anything that has to do with the Google account. So that's our speculation. Uh, an hour ago, Google Cloud actually reported this today at 3 47 pacific time google experienced an authentication system outage for approximately 45 minutes due to an internal storage quota issue let me repeat that internal storage quota issue so did they run out of disk space i'm just baffled by this this was resolved at 4 32 a.m all services are back up so guys what do you think about this? Running out of disk space. You would think that is just something really complicated. Um, I really need more information than this. Just running out of disk space. Is that it? I mean, running out of disk space, of course, is going to cause services to go down. This tells you so many things. If this is true, I mean, I'm not saying they are lying, but if this is the only cause, this is, the is, is this the major cause? I don't know, and I don't think so. I think there is some other service that started shoveling crap into the storage that filled it up so quickly. That's my guess, right? You cannot just run out of storage all of a sudden without without actually knowing or getting some monitoring notification. That, hey, you just ran out of this space. The Google must have monitoring going on. So I'm, I'm really surprised by this. But uh looks like, Look, this, this might be the reason, but I'm still, I uh, will wait. We'll keep waiting and see if we know more information than that. One last comment before we end the video, quick video. Uh, just Google uses uh, an internal container orchestration system called Borg. And this is their, essentially their, their entire system. This is their operating system for the whole uh, world, right? So Borg is, 
equivalent almost equivalent to Kubernetes. That's the first Kubernetes version. And then they out open sourced Borg as a new open source project they call the Kubernetes. So you can orchestrate all these services, right? So the authentication service, I'm baffled by why just the authentication service that went down. So that tells me the authentication service has its own storage layer and that storage layer went out. Like uh, it just ran out of internal storage. And then, that does not explain why other systems were were fine. I was able to view YouTube videos, right? People were people able to upload. I don't know. I, I I'm guessing no, right? But still, we have so many questions. It could the answer to all these questions could be yeah, we just ran out of disk space. Live with it. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you think about this outage? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, have you experienced this? Because I didn't. I was sleeping, to be honest. So, and, and I was going through all your comments. I woke up this morning at 5 a.m. I was like, what is going on? Everyone is tweeting at me. I was saying, talk about Google down. I was like, talk about how, how Google went down. So uh, I thought I was just going to make this quick video. We just learned about this disk space issue. But we'll keep waiting. If we learn more, I'll let you know. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.